Do you know how HIV pregnancy tests are done? Here in this video, you can watch the process of manufacturing this test. It's a bit technical, but worth watching. Lateral flow or rapid test cards are the immunochromatographic test used to detect the presence of target and light in the sample. It is also called as the rapid immunoassay. First test developed is pregnancy test. From then it becomes popular because of small amount of sample required, easy to perform the assay, low cost and less assay time or the result. Its applications are medical diagnostics. For example, pregnancy test infectious disease such as HIV, HCV and malaria. Many other field lateral flow tests are used such as agriculture, drug of abuse that is called as a DOPA, veterinary, environmental testing, food testing. Applications area also increasing in many fields particularly in research and development of various sectors. Test component. Main component of kit packagings are pouch, instruction for use that is IFU, and dropper. Pouch consists of test strip, housing, cassette and desiccant to absorb the moisture inside the pouch. Inside the housing or cassette test strip is inserted. Housing or cassette plays a vital role in assay. Design of cassette is a critical parameter. Sometimes tests provide with the lancet, swab or test tube depending upon the application and intended purpose. Sample is added in a sample well of the cassette, it is absorbed by the sample pad. Sample migrate towards the conjugate pad by capillary action combines with the conjugate and then it moves towards the membrane and immobilized on the test line and control line of the membrane and remaining absorbed by the absorbent pad. Membrane It is an important element and its major function is to transport the sample and support the medium for the antigen and antibody reaction. Materials are nitrocellulose. Different varieties of NC nitrocellulose membranes available depending on pore size and capillary flow rate. Depending on your analyte, we need to select the membrane pore size. Generally available pore sizes are 5 micron, 10 micron, 12 micron and 15 micron. Next, factor to be considered while selecting the membrane. First one is a capillary flow rate. Second one is protein binding. Conjugate pad. Function is to allow the sample to conjugate and 100% release the sample and conjugate to the membrane. General user materials are PTR or polyester. Factor to be considered selecting the conjugate pads are number 1. Flow rate. Number 2. Sample holding volume. Number 3. Binding. The conjugate can be added into the pad via dipping or dispensing method. Sample pad. Function is to absorb and transport the sample in the smooth and homogeneous manner. It should retain very less sample. General user materials are cellulose, glass fiber or polyester pad. Factor considered for the sample pad selections are flow rate, sample holding volume, protein binding and filtration of the sample. Filtration of the sample is fed by the protein or the detergent or, or salt to reduce the non-specific binding or increase the sample viscosity and to change the pH and to filter the RBC red blood cells. Uh, this can be achieved by adding the agglutinating agent into the sample pad. Treatment usually done by dipping or spraying method followed by the drying. Absorbent pad. Function is to absorb unconjugated sample and conjugated in order to increase the flow rate and to prevent the backflow. It reduces the background or noise. Materials are cellulose selected based on absorption capacity. Lamination Lamination is a process of assembling the coated membrane, conjugate pad, sample pad and absorbed pad. A typical assembly cards are shown in, in the figure with the absorbent pad area, NC membrane area, conjugate pad area. In continuous real com process, components are assembled and cut into the small strips. Packaging Packaging involves four steps. First one is a cassette assembly, second one is pouching, third one is component packing, fourth one is kit packaging. Manufacturing flow chart. First step involves coating, dispensing and treatment of the membrane, conjugate pad and sample pad. Second step drying of these components. 
third step is assembling or lamination and fourth step is cutting into strips fifth step is a cassette assembling and last step is kit packaging i'll explain these instrument used in this process in next step this is a coating machine where antigen and antibody are coated on the membrane conjugate sprayed using this machine conventional oven used for drying this is a dehumidifier room where the rh is controlled by a dehumidifier machine the dryer is attached to the machine lamination of the component lamination you can see here manual lamination cutting cutting is done by the gelatine cutting machine a typical gelatine cutting machine used in the rapid test assembly or packaging top and bottom are pressed and moved in a conveyor belt and then pouch is sealed in a machine